a fool and his money are soon parted. A fool and his money, they soon say bye bye, they soon separate. It's one of the ways you know someone is not too wise. Constantly, his money is going the other way from him. I'm not talking about generosity. You should be very generous. Give up. But if it is this gift to get, God, enter covenant. I'm bringing all my family. What does God say about it? Should you give? How should you give? To whom should you give? When should you give? How often should you give? How much should you give? There's a method to it. God has spoken about it. Your work is a lamp to my feet and a light. So when you want to see the way, your path, what do you do? You find the words of God. You point it and you can see the way to walk in everything, including giving. But if you ignore and there's no light, no knowledge of truth, how do you walk? You hit someone here. You stumble here. The Bible says that the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter, but the work of the wicked, he does not know what he's stumbling at. He, oh, sorry. Oh, what's that? Erratic. That's what I described. Every time you go to God and you're trying to make God do something. No. Ask God for protection. Stop. Give offering. Stop. Don't connect them at all. Why are you connecting it? It doesn't the word of God say you should give towards those work of the service of the house of God. It's already enshrined. And how should you give? The Bible says you should give generously. That's how you're meant to give. The offering basket was on the way to your prayer. They said they have special offering time. Put the offering, then go and kneel down. Father, I've been sensing danger. Please, I'm asking, protect us from death. Don't tell God. Right now, I'm entering into a covenant. A covenant of life. See, oh, I've settled you. Nobody says it like this, but what's the difference? God sees your heart. I've settled you. <laughs> I've settled this money. You know, <laughs> you've seen where this money came from. <laughs> hey, 150,000 naira is not a small thing. <laughs> Covered you. 30,000 per head to five of us. Me, my wife, three children. This your children. One is a crook. The other one is a prostitute. See you grabbing God by the throat to make him sign things. And grab God Almighty. Make him sign things. Do you know why these things in the body of Christ are so popular? Because he makes preachers rich. Don't you know fear is the major motivation of the human being? Fear. Fear alone. You would have given only you. Is it not you? Stingy. You would have given 2,000 offering. Your salary is 500,000. You go to church. You bring it out. You know every, plenty poor people. They'll be putting their... Uh, 15 naira, 100, 200 naira. You bring out 2,000. You hold it straight like this. Feeling very cool with yourself. 2,000 naira. Out of 500,000 naira income that came that month. God is watching you. <laughs> the big eyes of God are watching you. You. Then they say, covenant for life. You go, hey, hey, hey. You can bring out 200,000. Calmly. Because fear. All the wickedness you have been doing in your life. You are afraid God is about to punish you. You think God is the pastor of your father's church when you go to the village to visit that he was sitting down then when you brought out money you think God moved let people repent repent for what? for the insult that you thought it that you think of this our God like that at all that your brain has space that God leans forward based on the size of a sacrifice God said do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? You're seeing this, this under the old covenant when they used to kill animals officially. Under God's instructions, he asked, do I eat it? What do we give today? Money, most times, yes? So should I read that in today's language? Do I spend cash? Do I use money? Verse 14, sacrifice what? A thank offering to God. What else? And pay your vows to the Most High. Again, in the classic church thinking, the only form of a vow is monetary. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. What about the vow you made that you will not quarrel with your roommate anymore? What about that time you prayed and said, God, I will not disrespect my father 
again forgive me forgive me please I will not disrespect my father. I will never say such a thing to my mother anymore. You got so angry one day you told your mother, I don't even know why I was born to you. I regret that you're my mother. And after that, and you said you would never say such a thing. Then you got angry another day. God said, pay your vows. Did you say it? Do it. These are the things that people should be vowing all over the body of Christ. These were the vows. All those times people came out to vow. You should have been vowing good things. Vow good things. Vow things that God said you should vow. Go and read your Bible about vows. Money crazy generation. They keep using your head. Everything involves cash leaving your hand. Do people steal to give in church? People steal from their parents. People take their school fees. Daddy struggle gave. Take. They go to a church, they carry all like this and drop stolen money. Is it your money? It's your school fees. They gave you for a purpose. You're a thief. You and the person that collected it. Because you should ask you, come here, come here. Where do you get 25,000 from? And I know school fees are 25. Have you paid your school fees? You brought your school fees and gave us vow. Why? You see, because you've taught them. That the amount of money is what makes God react. As though the Bible has not said clearly that it is received from a man according to what he has. Because you came up with a vow, you sat down and said, God, if you can help me pass these examinations, I will give you something I've never given you before. And you passed. This is a problem. If you had just asked God, call on me in a day of trouble, I will rescue you and you will honor me. Which one came first? The rescue or the honor? Which one comes first? God's deliverance, help, or your gift? So what's this thing about buying the deliverance? 